You tell them what you're doing. Dip, oh, I didn't know your video. Dipping into my glue solution. Then move it over to the brown flocking. This will put a bark on the tree trunk. And I'm going to dip one more time in the same glue solution, which is Elmer's glue and water and soap. And then I cover it again. Then I will leave it dry and then dip it one more time to harden it completely up. And then when it's dried, it will be like this. It'll have a glossier look a little bit. And then it's ready to put on my pieces for um, to make a tree. Or if you want to make a sycamore or birch, do your painting next. And then the next step is to start gluing on the... Let me say anything. Oh, what I do now is on that full tree. Some people make mm -hmm. trees out of this. I like to cut these off and I will add them to my tree form, which will then give me the shape of my tree. The best thing on this is after you get them on the table and laid out, do not sneeze. So I've got a few of those cut. I'll stop and get these separated. My glue gun is hot ready to go and the tip top of those I usually cut one out and if you see any of the little leaves in there you may want to take tweezers unless you can get them with your fingers and get those out I just put a little bit of glue on my top of my tree glue my first one on which that sort of starts the shape of the top of my tree. Just takes a dab of glue. Then you just start on all your tree branches. Start picking pieces. And gluing on. Remember where you stuck your glue because I forget sometimes. And a lot of this will be covered once you put your green flocking on to see mm -hmm. the glue will, will not show. But I'll go through and I hold it this way. I usually start at the top, work my way down. Some of these branches will get more than one on just for fullness to fill out other directions. But you can see it's starting to take shape. This little branch, I want him over this way a little bit. It's bendable. You just move it where you want it. And I'll do this till the tree is completely covered. Sometimes just to help your fingers rather than gluing it to the tree to get it to stay where you want. You'll have a lot of little strings to pull out when you're done too. And after it's dried, the glue's dry, and you've got little, the ends of it sticking out that you don't want there, you just trim them off. I like this tree looks like it's gonna have an empty spot, but it really won't. Because what I'll do on this one, I'll come underneath and I'll hang one sort of on the bottom of this branch then right here in the I'll add another one coming out which will fill in I'll just stick it straight through and then I'll go through and cut that other side off that gives you some filling okay now I'm going to put 
on this last branch holding the tree upright then after I get that on I'm gonna mm -hmm. look at the tree mm -hmm. see where I want some spaces and I see some stems I'll need to cut and now I'm going to turn him upside down hold him a little different and put some uh, branches on these are really what you call your little fine branches at the end of the tree with the trunk and this will give the underneath where some of the branches then are growing down and hanging down give you a little bit more depth in your tree every now and then I use my fingers and I have to stop and clean my fingers off because once you get the blue strings everywhere sorry I moved some of these don't have to be very big for the underneath just a tiny little one works to fill in And you'll give your tree a minute to dry a little bit so you can go in and um, check on um, whether you need some more here and there. And then you have, ah, stuck my finger again. And then some of these little branches that's under here I didn't even see when I had it upright. They get one of these and that really helps fill out your tree. A couple more here and I'll turn it back over and see how it looks. Then we'll just make sure our um, hot glue is all dry and we've got everything trimmed up how we want it pull out any glue strings and if you don't like the shape of your tree this is the time to sort of maybe do some more shaping because it is going to fill in a little bit more when we add the green. I think this one looks pretty good except for trimming up some stems next to the trunk. And then I'm going to put the flocking on. And you can see a little, blue, little bit of glue globbing. But I think all the way around, upside down, there's one that didn't make it. You might just pull it off rather than trying to re-glue it. But what I'm going to do now is take my scissors and just go in and cut off some of these heavy stems at the bottom that bypass the trunk. And like I say, they probably, you don't have to worry about that too much because once you put your flocking on, it's not going to show. Okay, I'm going to get now set up to put our flocking on and we'll be right back. Okay, I've got everything set up now to how I'm going to spray and cover my tree and I've got my spray box I use here I use a non aerosol spray and I will spray basically from the top right now give it a good coating then I'll come over and I'll pick up my flocky and I just sprinkle it on And then I'll give it a good shake. And then I have an old paintbrush that since mainly even with just a brown tree trunk, 
I just want to go in and make sure I, because some of that spray will get on your tree trunk right there is a, and you want to uncover your trunk back up. So it shows. Now I'm going to give it another good spray. This time I'm going to hold it upside down too and spray. And this time when I come in, I'm going to put it on from the bottom. Just turn your tree as you go. And to shake it, I usually take a good wrap to my hand. And I'm going to turn it back over since it's still a little wet. And for a sycamore, you don't want to have it too closed in. Then you just want to check for strings as with your paintbrush. You want to clean out all your strings. And then make sure you uncover your bark each time because if it just builds up on there with the spray then it's harder to get it off your tree trunk and like there i've got one that i glued to just come loose i'm just going to pick him off okay i'm going to give it one more good spray now i want to put just a light coat on the top of my sort of variegated flocking which gives it some little lightness in spots and there I think we have a good shaped sycamore tree it's ready this one's a nice size you could probably put a um, tree house or a tire swing or something on it if you want it's a good size tree and then what I'm going to do is let this dry very well This is for HO scale. And this tree basically is a, can't see my numbers, 25 to 35 foot tree. In time you sink it in the ground a little bit because these forms are hard to get. I can't, I haven't figured out how to get a nail or something up in the end. But what I'll do now that it, when it's completely dry, the hardness, rather than just, I mean, I'm going to give it another spray with my spray, spray it. but I want to leave it set, oh, probably an hour or so, and then I'm going to come back, and then if you, if you think you want a little bit more light, you can put it, you know, here and there, just wherever you want it. But I think the sycamores are a little bit lighter than some. But after this sets for a couple hours, I will take it then and put it into my liquid that I put on my original bark with. And we will be back to do that. Okay, the tree that we started with is now ready for its final dip. And it'll be completely dry. And this final dip just sets this outer greenery much better mm -hmm. and sometimes it would be good to have a wider top but this works i'm going to hold it over and drain out so knock out your air bubbles I just leave it drip and then I'm going to turn it up and just leave it drip into this foam because this is just my working foam. And when that dries nice and hard, you can see when it gets the weight of that extra glue, you may have a branch you want to rearrange, which this one did. But once it dries, it will stay where we put it. There we go. And even after it's completely dry, I've got a little branch here that's closer and I like. I will pull that apart after it's completely dry and I can handle it better. And that also sets that extra bark like this one. And when I first showed you in dipping that one, um, leave it completely dry between each dip or you end up putting all the brown stuff in your glue. 
<laughs> so hopefully this helps you to make a, I don't know what kind of tree, maple, oak. This one's a sycamore or birch, whichever you'd like to call it, with the white branches. And that is how to make a tree. <laughs>